Hi, it's Lola here, and today I'm gonna to do something that I've never, ever, ever, ever done before, and it's totally stressing me out. So I'm gonna paint the ceiling right there above me, and I'm gonna use this, which is called a Wagner paint gun. I read the manual. I got all of my stuff ready. At least I hope I got all my stuff ready. So here's the things that so far I know I need to get this project started. Okay, I put something on my head to keep my hair good. I've got my mask here. I also have a respirator, except for it's old and dirty and it needs new carbon right here. So I'm not gonna use this right now, but if it gets too, I don't know, yucky for me, I'm gonna have to use this. Okay, I do have an extra mask in case I need it. Here's the manual. I've got gloves, a whole thing of gloves. Latex gloves would probably be better, but these were only $2, so whatever. And I covered those two pieces of furniture behind me that you see. I have a ladder, I've got my paint. So far, this is the hardest part to do is to get the hose, the sprayer hose on the, um, on the hopper. So here is a huge, huge problem. I borrowed this sprayer from a friend and it was used before and I've noticed that there's a little bit of dried paint in some different locations so I had to really dig that dry paint off to get the connectors to um, thread together. But now I'm trying to prime the unit. I already poured a whole gallon of paint in here and I turned it to prime mode, turned on the machine, and now it won't, um, it won't send any of the paint through the internal mechanism that will get it to actually shoot out of this thing called a hopper here. So I stuck my hand in it to see if I could get it to loosen up. And I've tried several times. I don't know if I'm trying hard enough. It's really like giving CPR. There's a filter inside here, so my hand is in the paint, and I'm pushing and I'm pumping and I'm doing everything I can to try to revive this little guy here so that I don't have to dump the paint out and try to paint this whole darn thing by hand. I have it in a vertical position right here. The sprayer is off because this little handle right here, this little black handle, is what turns it on and off. But don't ever, ever do this to look to see if it's on and off. You could hurt yourself. That's why the goggles, the goggles are so important. So here's the moment of truth. I'm going to attempt to use the sprayer and spray on this piece of wood right here to see if it works. And it did not work. Time to read the troubleshooting again. All right, I got the handle pulled apart and I found the area with the filter. So this is the troubleshooting thing I was just talking about. The manual says I need to clean the filter with soap and water. And so I'm gonna go try to do that. Let's see if it works. tell you that my stress that goes into this project is because I wish I had bought a bigger house. I wish I didn't need the garage as my woman cave in order to make it a space that is um, enjoyable. So the next step, I think, is to go buy a paint sprayer that I can use. 
something that is doable, attainable, that won't make me feel like a failure, something that will help me transform this space into that studio, workspace, woman cave, TV room that I really, really, really want in my life. See you later. Bye.